This video explains how to replace values in a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create in the first two code boxes. So as first step, we need to import the pandas library. And then in the next step, we need to apply the data frame constructor to create an example data frame. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created an example data frame that contains four rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. And all of these columns contain numbers. Now let's assume that we want to replace a value in this data frame that is in a certain column at a certain row position. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the next code box. So in the first line of this box, I'm creating a duplicate of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. And then in the next step, I'm replacing a certain value in this data frame using the add attribute. And then I'm using square brackets. And within the square brackets, I'm specifying the index position of the row in which I want to replace a value. And I'm specifying the name of the column in which this value should be replaced. And then I'm using the equal sign operator and on the right side of this operator, I'm specifying the value that should be assigned to this position in my dataset. And then I'm using the print function to print our updated data frame. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a new data frame, which contains exactly the same values as our input data frame besides the value 999 that has been assigned at the second row index to the column x1. So in this first example, I have explained how to replace only one value in our data frame. However, it's also possible to replace elements in a data frame based on their values. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in the fourth code box. So in this code box, as in the previous example, I'm first creating a duplicate of our input data frame. And then in the next step, I'm specifying that I want to replace values in the column x1. And then I'm using the replace function. And within the replace function, I'm specifying a list of values that should be replaced by another value. So in this case, I want to replace the values one and three by the value 999. And then I'm assigning this to our original x1 column. So in other words, I'm replacing the entire column by this new output. And then I'm printing our updated data frame below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, a new data frame is appearing. And as you can see in this data frame, we have replaced certain values in the column x1, or more precisely, we have replaced the values one and three by the value 999. So in this second example, I have shown how to replace several values in only one column of the data frame. However, it's also possible to use the replace function to replace values in the entire data set. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in the fifth code box. So as in the previous examples, I'm first creating a copy of our data set. And then once again, I'm using the replace function. However, this time I'm applying the replace function to our entire data set instead of only one column. And then as in the previous example, I'm specifying the values that I want to replace. So in this case, I want to replace only the value four and I want to replace this value by the value 999. And then I'm printing the output of the previous code below the code box. So as you can see, we have replaced all the occurrences of the value four in our input data frame by the new value 999. So in this case, this value appeared here, here, and here. So as you have seen in the previous example, it's possible to use the replace function to replace certain values in a data set. However, it's also possible to substitute ranges in a data set based on a logical condition. 
And this is what I want to show you in the next example, in the last code box of this tutorial. So as in the previous examples, I'm first creating a copy of our data set, and then I'm using the log attribute and square brackets. And within the square brackets, I'm specifying a logical condition. So in this case, I'm specifying that I want to replace all values in the column x1 that are smaller or equal to the value 2. And I'm specifying that I want to replace these values by the value 999. So after running this line of code, our data set is updated. And you can see that by printing our final data set below the code box. And as you can see, we have replaced the first two values in the column x1 by 999, because those two values have been smaller or equal to the value 2. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.